carrier synergic fit here continuing with our upper mobility for those that may have a little bit more tightness in the shoulders the forward shoulder roll with the head lean and we're trying to fix a little bit of that postural alignment so we get a little straighter up because when we're sitting in that position all day that just compounds the issue and really just doesn't get the posterior chain so the back side of the body to hold that up so <laughs> we are going to go into what is known as a dead bug floor slide so it's essentially going to be a bit more of shoulder mobility as well as core engagement but what i like about this one is it's patterning and overhead press motion but what we're doing is we're actually earning that movement through rather than trying to go straight into an overhead press and we tend to lean forward or back. So as Torian is showing, if we're pushing forward rather than straight up, we end up with that. So this is gonna help pattern it. So we're actually pressing our hands and the back of our palms into the ground. So we're going straight up and earning that movement. So dead bug floor slide is going to start on your back. If any of you have done a dead bug, this is very similar to a little beetle being on its back. So <laughs> you are going to start with legs at 90 degree angle and then your hands are going to go at 90 degree angles with palms facing up. So on the ground, relax your head Torian into the ground so you're not over arching that neck in any funny ways. So we're going to have hands flat onto the ground. And what we're gonna be doing is creating that motion of a press. So we're gonna be holding the legs up as you press up in that motion for a full extension at the top, nice and slow and controlled. If you find the hands are coming up off the ground because you just can't earn that, you are very welcome to grab water bottles or if you have light weights at home, you can definitely do that. But we're just trying to create essentially that movement and pattern it so that you have a little more success when you're going in for your overhead press. So you're gonna go all the way to the top, you're gonna to come back down, and when you hit that 90 degrees, you can go back up. How's your core feeling? It's on fire. Okay. So we're gonna go for about eight to 10 of these. And that's just gonna create a little bit more movement through the shoulder. You can see as he's going up, it's even creating a little bit more wing for the lats. So just working the backside of that body. How's this one feeling? I'm working hard. You're working hard. How are the shoulders feeling? Like they're finally getting the space they need, specifically in my shoulder blades. Mm. And as you can see, folks, I'm quite tight so this is a very useful exercise i'm quite active and i still have these issues you can imagine how much more you'll elevate off the ground mm -hmm. when you simply haven't been working on these things so imperative to avoiding injuries particularly around the shoulder but also we could talk about injuries in the chest in the lower back in the neck that more or less bleed our energy bleed our focus and make us apprehensive towards exercising as a whole Wow, hip flexors and core, Batman. <laughs> so another great exercise from Synergy K Fit. Stay tuned for more for these particular scenarios. Again, this is our desk jockey or the rounded forward position, which more or less a lot of us end up into. So not necessarily general. I would say it's more specific for you guys. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for more exercises from Synergy K Fit and my own training to battle or I guess reverse the ill effects of these said things that kind of dictate or can mess with our results and our fitness.